I am back with another unboxing. We've got a massive parcel from Pretty Little Thing today, so we're going to be unboxing that, which is so exciting. If you can see, I've got my power t shirt on from last week's video, so that's, please go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, Pretty Little Thing has a massive sale, and I decided to buy everything. Well, I didn't, so let's not be dramatic. But if you're excited to see what I got, then make sure you carry on watching. So you can have a sneak peek of everything that I've got inside. We had a massive sale. This, by the time you see this video, I think it'll be about two weeks ago. And the sale might be still going on though, so I'll link it down below so you can go and have a look. But I get a couple of good things because this sale was insane. And they also had a like discount code, get next day delivery for free. Insane. So all of this cost me £66, I think. Just call the devil, why don't we? So We've got a couple of goodies in here and I will go through them and show you. Some of these I might not fit in as of yet because I am on a weight loss journey and I am coming up to, well, hopefully by this point I've already hit my two and a half stone awards, but that's what I'm hoping to hit by this weekend. And as I said, you will be seeing this the week later. So hopefully I will have hit it. But I did get a couple of things that are a little bit smaller because I'm planning on losing quite a lot more weight on top of what I've already lost. This is the first little top that I got. Oh, it's actually quite decent size, actually. That might fit. I might do a try and haul. We'll see. I don't really want to be flashing me uh, belly at you at the minute, like, do you know what I mean? But it's just really... Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. I might see if I can wear that for this weekend because that's actually so much bigger than what I thought. So I got everything in a size 18. Again, I'm still, like, a chunky gal, but I'm hoping to lose... Oh, my God, my hair is so wild. I'm so sorry for how wild my hair is. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping this... This was three pound three pounds which is crazy i don't know if it's got a label on it oh yeah it has yeah so yeah you can see size 18 it is a shape brown leopard one shoulder mesh top a pretty little thing obviously because that's where we got it all from but yeah so i just think that's gonna be so beautiful and with like me hair this wild cute and like it has like a little frill detail at the end so like not all your bellies out and if you have like high-waisted enough pants like you're not going to be flashing and i haven't got any boobs so i am going to worry about that but hopefully if it does fit i'll do a try on haul at the end and show you i also got a jacket because this was insanely priced i'm trying to remember all the prices off my head i know these ones but i don't know about the other two so we'll find out this literally was 12 pound 50 and I thought it'd go gorgeous with that top. It's in a brown aviator, but it's like cropped, so it's quite short. £12.50. £12.50. It's gorgeous. It's like, oh, it's so soft. Like, obviously, that like faux leather, and then it's got all the fluff all over it. It even has... Does it? No, it doesn't. It has things that look like pockets, but aren't pockets, which is rude. Yeah, they haven't got a pocket on the inside. Oh, God, this fluff is going everywhere, though. So I don't know whether this is going to be a problem. But yeah, again, this is a size 80. Oh, my God. <gasps> okay, it's that horrible material that, like, literally gets fluff all over you. It's all over my top. That's actually devastating. Like, I'm literally getting, like, fluff bits on it. So maybe it's not worth the £12.50. Maybe I would not recommend this. Oh, that's actually devastating because I'm wearing a black everything. No, I'm actually covered in mess. So not on a lint roller console, but I don't think I own a lint roller. So we're just going to drop this because it is causing murder. But it's obviously got the big, like, whatever that is at the back. And yeah, yeah, that, oh, no. Like, I don't know if you're going to look at the state of me top. That is so grim. So the next thing we've got, mm, don't know, mm. I don't know if I like the colour. Mm. Mm. So it's a blazer. I mm, don't know if I like that colour though. It looks more like tan, but in person it looks like a weird orangey brown. So yeah, it's just like a cute little blazer. I can't remember how much this was though. I think it was £13, I think this one. Maybe. Um... Has it got any pockets? No, just got the pocket detailing. So it has got pocket detailing, but it hasn't got any pockets. Which I'm surprised. I thought it was about pockets. But it's beautifully lined, sorry, on the inside. So yeah, gorgeous lines. Looks, to be honest, the quality of it seems really, really nice. Nice and heavy as well. Like, you can tell it's, like, really good quality. I just don't know if I love the colour. Mm, 
um, it's given like autumnal, like I reckon like nice, cute, like yeah, no, it's cute, it's cute, it's growing on me. This I think was twelve pounds. I think I think it was reduced from eighteen to twelve, maybe. Um, oh, this I don't think it's gonna fit. It's shape, but I don't think it's gonna fit. Everything I got, by the way, is eighteen. Um, this is like a little. Oh my god, love the size of it. Like, it literally could fit like a size ten, but it's a. Oh, I'm getting all my fluff all over everything else now. Jesus, that aviators cause me issues a unitard which i've never owned one of these it's got like a little zip at the back little pair of shorts at the bottom i just thought it'd be cute if, well if i don't get fluff all over it i thought it'd be really cute for like summer and like just throwing it on and like maybe even like an oversized t-shirt on top or whatever like just i see people wearing them all the time and i think they're really really cute so seems good it's meant to be shapewear i mean it does stretch like it's got a good stretch in it but i feel like you're gonna see all me lumps and bumps in this so Maybe something I just wear at home for now so I don't have to flash everyone on my stomach. And the last thing that we got, which is personally my favourite, this was £19. Okay, it's different material than what I thought. I thought it was like leathery, I don't know why. So it's like one of the little racer bomber jackets. And it says Brook, is it Brooklyn's? Brooklyn? No, it's Brooklyn. 95. And I just love the black and yellow, like it give power vibes. It's just like a little puffer jacket and it's got the stripes going down the sides, little cuff sleeves. Oh, it has got pockets, amazing. So yeah, I feel like that'll be really, really cute. So I will show you what some of them look like on them. If they fit, fingers crossed. So this is the jacket I was like most excited about and I think it looks quite cute. Like I'm a fan, it can zip up. So yeah, I think it's really, really cute. Got the 95 on, got all the yellow on, like, even like i'd probably just keep it open but like i don't think i look super trendy in it like oh, i don't hate the word trendy but like i do i think it's like super fire super chill like yeah i'm a fan i'm a massive fan it just looks really really good i always love it because the reason i love the power because it's always got a little bit of yellow and i feel like it kind of like matches together like given boyfriend jacket like given like we're just cool i love that it's actually devastating because this looks so cute. I hate the fact it hasn't got pockets. It's actually longer than what I thought for like a crop. But like, I think it's cute. Devastating again that like I've shook this about 85 times. We can't see like the, the fluff everywhere. But for £12, like it looks gorgeous. It like zips up there so you can like have it closed and all snug ready for awesome. Even though we're only just getting into spring and summer. So yeah, I think it is cute. Like, um, it looks nice. Like, why have you got to be so fluffy? The sleeves, obviously, really long. Didn't realise how long the sleeves were. Again, really good. So that's no pockets. But then I feel like my arms feel like uncomfortable having pockets that high up. This top also fits. It does come up to like a certain like amount. I'm part of the Flintstone family. Um, I do think it is cute. Like, I'm not mad about it. Obviously, it's got the sleeve here and like the one shoulder there. It's not as cute as I thought it was going to be, but it does fit, but, like, it's really stretchy and loose. So, like, not that I have any boobs in this area anyway, but I wouldn't really feel very supported. Like, I hoped it was going to be a little bit, like, clingier, so I felt like it wouldn't just move freely. But I do think it's a beautiful design. I feel like not this colour, but, like, covering it over, like, would be kind of cute that's nice do you know what i mean not this color i feel like this color really doesn't match but this jacket's really cute but yeah i don't love this color though but i reckon with like all white i reckon it'd be looking like really nice underneath i'm not gonna try the unitard on because i need to go back to work and i reckon it'll be really tight so my favorite thing was the bomber jacket i feel like i just wish i bought that but we live and we learn so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed I hope to see it in the next video. Is there anything from this haul that you would have got? Let me know anything that's just, I mean, if I could retain, I probably would retain some of it, but hey, diddly ho ho, we live and we learn. But this jacket is a win. Hopefully you like the jacket. Imagine if you hate the jacket, it's the only thing that I like. Please don't say that to me, but, um, but yeah, really hope to see it in the next video. Hope you're having a gorgeous day and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. bye.